Hey folks, Vic back with you here. This is uh, this is the camera angle for all you people who spotted Yvonne Craig in the show a little earlier today. Uh, uh, this is the ever glorious bat angle. <laughs> all right. Um, anyways, uh, coming with you here with our next interview, Francesco. Francesco is, uh, if you watch our shows on a regular basis and you see our comic shows, Francesco's been pretty much in all of them. Uh, although this time he's got something a little new and different to talk about with uh, his main character that he created, a uh, new project that he has in the works. So uh, Larry's going to bring you that interview uh, right now. If you want to check out Francesco's comics, our man comics in Waukegan, that's the place to go. So uh, give him a call. Uh, here comes Francesco, and uh, this is Bad Angle! Actually, right now, my next guest, the one, the only, Francesco! Hold on. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Where, where are you? Uh, it's just going to be a couple of minutes. Uh, he's, he's getting ready. Um, normally, I have a joke for these type of things, but I think the whole show's a joke anyway, so... Uh, hold on. Is he almost ready? Well, he's taking off money for this, that's all I'm saying. 20 bucks. He's going to be on in just a moment, folks. He's uh, zipping up. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's, he's almost on? He's on? Okay. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the uncomparable, the unfathomable, Francesco. Hey, hey boys and girls. <laughs> All right, Thank about you. time. Right. See how much you get for 15 bucks? That's it. He just comes on and then he leaves. That's normal. Anyway, no, he's back. Hi, how you doing? Oh, God, you know, Francesco, we always have fun interviewing you, and we, we love catching you at every show that we possibly can. But we understand that you got something new coming up. I mean, we normally talk about Ecstasy, which is a great character, and we normally talk about how you started out, but I, I understand that you got something new still involving Ecstasy, but it, it's coming out soon. Oh, it's coming out real soon, and uh, the cool thing about it is it didn't start out that way, but uh, I call it the home run edition because Ecstasy is trying to run home, mm -hmm. and... You know, you kind of take run home, home run. You, you, you change them around. And it's like a pun, in a way. Yeah. Is it a pun? It's a, either a pun or conundrum. No, conundrum's a problem. I think it's a pun. I'm going to go with that. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it turns out that uh, it has a really uh, wonderful element because I get to explore Chicago. And that's where I'm based at. All you Chicago people over there, hey. Okay. Shout out to people. Or it, yo, 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 yo. Okay. Yo, yo. All right. Yo, yo. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> and uh, it gets a we get a chance to explore uh, ecstasy in uh, a more familiar surrounding with some wonderful surprise guest stars. You're going to love it. When you do pick it up, and you will pick it up, won't you? Of course. I'm always there. I know. He's such a big fan. I love this guy. He supports me in every way. Well, my size, I'm just big anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> we won't talk about size here, okay? We got kids watching, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, for your, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Well, actually, no, see, what I want, what i like you to do is for the one or two people that haven't seen our shows before, that haven't seen you on it, just go ahead and explain exactly who Ecstasy is and what she's all about. Well, Ecstasy is this incredible, incredible character. There she is, right there. We get a chance to see how she basically utilizes her power. She doesn't know exactly how it works, and uh, but she knows it does. So, in a way, you got to learn how to, you got to crawl before you learn how to walk and learn how to run so for the first uh, first few issues we get a sense of how she's trying to cope with this new ability you know something's coming to her life that she doesn't quite understand and she's going to explore <laughs> she's going to explore how the, <laughs> she's going to explore how she actually uh, comes to grip with this new something that's coming to her life she doesn't know exactly what it is uh -huh. and how important that all fits into the big picture but we get to see that along with her. Now, how, 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 how many issues do you have planned out already? I mean, how far into the future are you looking with her? I mean, some people plan a year ahead, some people plan two years ahead, and some people have a whole series already written out. How far ahead are you thinking? Actually, I'm, I'm thinking so far ahead that there's actually no limit. There's these stories that pretty much spawn other storylines, and those, you know, they beget other ones, and that beget another one, and beget, and beget, and... Big ad. Okay, it's a good serialized thing then. All right, I got you. I, you know, Francesco, like I said, we really like interviewing you every time that we can come here and stop it. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like he's shaving me now. And speaking of that, I should have done that today. But 
we like interviewing you every chance that we get, but beside the home run, is there anything else that you want to tell people out there? I mean, anything that you personally read that you think is a good book and that you want other people to know about, or that you personally do that not a lot of people do know about? Okay, you want me to tell you, on camera, uh -huh. what I like to read, so everybody runs out and get it, so I go to the store and it won't be there, not going to happen, sorry. Okay, well, I can understand the logic behind that reasoning, but... Uh, no, 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 the reason why I can't tell you, because if I did, we'd use up all your tape, the commercials would be running, the credits would be running, and I'd still be talking on and on and on. That, we, well, we're normally putting you at the end of the tape anyway, after the credits, so it's... Oh, wait, that's... <laughs> No, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, um, thank you. Good night. No. Uh, I just got a quick question for you. When you're in the Waukegan Land area, that's not quick enough. Not quick enough. <laughs> when you're in the Waukegan Land area and you shop for comics, do you normally stop at Marman's? Yes. Good. See, Marman Comics for all your comic needs, guys. This, this is where the unabashed plug little thing runs on the bottom of the screen, yeah, right? But you know, we weren't paid to say that. We, we, you know, we're not giving the address, which is somewhere on Washington Street. But he's not getting paid. But okay, well, sh I'm not either. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I, like I said, Francesco, we really appreciate the time. We appreciate the interview. You know, and that's just pretty much it. We hope to see you in Chicago yet again, because we we love seeing you and we love ecstasy. Love. That's a strong word. And I appreciate that. And well, I she's appreciate not Judy Jensen, but you know, she's for, for character, she's tall. Well, actually, <laughs> I'm Judy Jensen. Ah! No, it turns out that I appreciate being appreciated, uh -huh. and I appreciate you guys doing what um, not enough people are doing. Because I love conventions. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love conventions, and to be able to share this wonderful experience with the people at home, you guys should be here. But the next best thing is these guys bringing it to you live. On tape, at least. <laughs> On tape. Live. Uh, but anyway, this, you're not, he's not getting us back. No. He, <laughs> all right, anyway, we're going to try to come back with other interviews. I'm Larry Stoney. This is Francesco. We'll be back. Give it back. <laughs> there you go. That was good. That was very good.